Hello friends and crafters, this is Holly with Holly's Ink and Stamp and um, I'm coming to you with our second part in our uh, planner series so we can decorate August together tonight. For those of you that do not know me, you can find me at hollyzinkandstamp.stampinup.net and you can find out information about um, products there as well as workshops if you're local. So um, head on over there and check that out. But tonight we're going to continue our planner series and I hope you can see this but I've actually decorated the front of our um, planner here starting our uh, second video on our planner series and I did take some of the stickers that you see in the back of the planner here well that's where I put mine you can put yours wherever but they do come with some gold stickers back here and I just love this big flower right here and it says love today and I decided to take that to decorate the front of our planner here and I just think that just added a little bit to it and maybe some other time I might decorate more. I'm not sure yet what I want to do there. But I just want to recap what we did last week. I did go ahead and um, took the pockets out of the front here. I know I haven't decided what I want to do with those yet, but I want to show you what else I've done with our planner here. Each month, let me just go to this one real quick. At the beginning of the month, there is this page of it looks like little sticky notes. Um, it's a really cute page. And I wanted to add some more um, to this page, so I actually stamped these words on here. And I used our Tabs for Everything stamp set. There are so many different things here that are great for our tabs, and there is a tab punch. Not using the punch today, I just love to use this for my planner. And there's so many different things here you're going to be able to use in your planner, not just for this page here. So I put the word remember, what I wanted to remember about this month, my goals, my shopping, I haven't decided what I want to shop for yet this month, my wishes, my to-do list. So I'm probably going to put that on each and every month right there at the beginning so that way I can go ahead and create my goals and then here was July and yes I've been adding things every day of what's going on so I haven't actually done today yet but that's what this is for use those stickers use those stamps so you can document what you're doing through the month so that way if you want to look at this a few years from now you can remember exactly what was going on and uh, that's what this is for it's like a memory album and then some of you were asking what I'm doing for the weeks, okay? I actually used some of the washi tape here to decorate up this week a little bit more, all right? And then for this week, I haven't done anything yet, but I might be doing some stamping here and I will show you that next month. So each month you're gonna see more and more that I've added to the planner, all right? The purpose of this video though is to go ahead and decorate our August up. I do want to show you one other thing before we do that. You have this divider in here and you can move this divider around anywhere you want in your planner. I also wanted to find a place to put my little sticky notes that the kit comes with. And what I decided was I took some glue dots and I actually adhered, as you can see back here, these little sticky note pads to the divider. That way, I always know where those are. They're not just laying loose, and they will always be nice and perfectly straight because they're going to be in the actual planner. All right, let's get August taken out here, and that way we can go ahead and get that decorated, and I can tell you what stamp set I'm using this month. So here's August, and I know our August starts on Tuesday, so I'm gonna take our basic black Stampin' Write marker here, which these are great because they're two-sided. You have a, a writing side and then a coloring side. All right, so we're gonna take this and quickly number our month. I always go ahead and put those in because then it kind of tells me exactly where I can do my decorating. It lets me know where I might put my washi tape. I do know that I'm probably gonna be putting some paper down here because this is all clear down here on both sides and then maybe something special in these two. So this is just my thought process on how I want to decorate this. This month I did choose to do our new coffee cafe. 
August is for me one of those transition months of the year where kids are going back to school and fall is coming and it just seems like a time to spend with friends and um, just get ready for all that transition. So there's some really cute sayings in this set and this is a photopolymer set so you can see here they are the ones that you're going to use clear blocks with and you can see right through them so you can put your stamps exactly where you want them to go. So we're going to be using that. I am pulling in another stamp set this month because I want to use this coffee stain stamp here. And this is in our timeless textures. And this is a clear, what we call our clear stamp set because you are still going to use the clear blocks. All right, they're not the, like the photopolymer that you can see through, but this one you really don't need to see through. So uh, it's just going to create that really cool coffee stain. We're going to be using some soft suede and some early espresso inks for this. I do want to show you I, the designer series paper I'm going to be using this month is so awesome. You do get 12 sheets of our designer series paper when you buy a pack of it and this one is called Coffee Break. I just wanted to show you each side here. You have your coffee holders there, your coffee pots, some actual coffee here, coffee beans, and then you have the little coffee stains, love it. And I really like this one. It just has a bunch of different polka dots there of great colors. Now those are great, but let me show you the other side. So when you have all of the, these great designs on the other side, including coffee beans like this. The one I'm gonna be using tonight is we're gonna be using this one here. And I'll show you what I'm doing with that. And we're gonna be using this one here. So we're gonna be using these two. All right, so let's get to decorating. First thing I wanna do is I really liked our little coffee beans that came in our set here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those little coffee beans and we're gonna stamp those across the top here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is mask like I did last, last month. Okay. Love the post-it notes for that. And then you can notice that these have been used and that's perfectly fine, guys. Reuse things. And one more because I just wanted to stop at the word August. You don't have to. That's just my preference. And then we are literally going to ink up our coffee and I'm using early espresso ink. And we are going to just randomly stamp these on the top of our paper here. Love it. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the other piece. And we're gonna do the same thing all the way across the top. And this is what we have so far. Look how cool that looks already. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to add our coffee. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the large coffee cup here and we are going to take soft suede this time. We're going to be putting and using this side over here, so let's put that to the side. We're going to ink up our coffee cup. And one nice thing about stamping up stamp pads is you don't have to, you know, really push it down. You basically lay it on there and you can just see it soak right up on your stamp there. Alright, so what you're going to do is we're going to stamp this off once, because remember we want it to be a watermark, twice, third, let's see what it looks like. And let's see what a fourth looks like. And the reason why you do that is because you wanna see what stage you wanna put on here. I think I like the third generation. So we're gonna go ahead and ink this up again. First, second, all right, and then do the third right there. Just hold it for a second. Wonderful. So there's our cup. And then we're gonna take this stamp right here. It's called Happiness is a Cup of Coffee Shared with a Friend. I thought that was appropriate to go ahead and put in there for this month. So we're gonna take that stamp and we're gonna grab out Early Espresso now. And again, we're gonna ink this up and we're gonna stamp it off. One, two, and the third one we're gonna go ahead and put right in our coffee cup here. Perfect. It's dark enough that you can see it, but not too dark that you're still not gonna be able to write over it. And then while I have out the early espresso, we're gonna actually take the lid to the coffee cup, and we're gonna ink this up in the early espresso as well. And we're gonna stamp this off. Third one, we're gonna put right on our cup here. Look how cool that looks. Amazing. All right, so we have our coffee on there. So that's for this side. For the other side, we're gonna do a smaller cup of coffee. 
So I pulled out the wood grain coffee cup. It's really cool because it has a wood grain texture to it. What I wanna do is I'm gonna show you a really neat trick here. We are actually going to take the um, wrap right here and I wanna stamp that first. So we're gonna take that and I'm gonna stamp that using the um, early espresso. So again, we're gonna stamp off twice. What we're going to do is go ahead and stamp that right here. Okay, stamp that first. All right. Now, I have a little trick here. What I did is I took this stamp here and I stamped it on a sticky note where the stickiness is, all right? And then I cut it out right up to where the stamping is, okay? This is a different kind of mask that I created. And you're going to take this now and place it completely over and it will fit exactly where that is. Okay, so you wanna make sure the sticky, there's sticky on that part. What we're gonna do is take our coffee cup now. I'm gonna close up this one and we're gonna ink up or a uh, soft suede. And you can just see that ink just go all over that. With this one, because it's a solid stamp, I'm gonna pull in one of my piercing mats, is actually what it is. And this is gonna help me, because this is a solid stamp, we wanna make sure to stamp off one, two. All right, we're gonna lay that here. And what we're going to do is we're gonna stamp right over that, and you can see right through it to see exactly where you want it to go. And we're gonna stamp and you want to make sure to push because you do have to get past that little sticky note that's there okay so make sure you push well pull that up now here's the coolest part now we're gonna lift this up and it looks like that the um, wrap has been put on it and this is in the background the cool little way to do that and then what I do with this because I'll probably use it again is I just stick it inside of my stamp set here so that way if I ever want to do that again I've already got it cut. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch back now to the early espresso. And we're going to put the words in here. These words are so cool. This one says, life happens, coffee helps. And I thought that was very appropriate for our the month of August. So let's one, two. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that right inside here. Wow, that, that is just so cool. Even after doing it for as much as I have on, on here, it just amazes me how that all lines up. And then one more time, we're gonna take our lid, because we gotta put a lid on our copy. Love it. Now, if you feel that this is too dark, you could you can stamp it off three times and then do the fourth time as your actual stamp on your calendar here. So that's what we have so far. I'm loving it. All right, now we're going to pull in our little coffee stain here. And this one I did with the soft suede. Okay. And we're actually going to just ink it up. One two, and then you're going to decorate it. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and I'm going to put something over here this week. What I'm going to do is go ahead and mask this part. So what I'm going to take, the stirrer right here, and I'm going to use soft suede. So I'm just going to lay that on there. We're going to stamp it off once, twice, and then we're going to put it right on our paper here. Now right now they just look like sticks to me. So what we're going to do is take it, there's a little heart, and this little heart we're going to put and stamp right on the top of it. We're almost finished. What we're going to do next is I'm going to take the designer series paper. This is the paper that I chose to use and we're gonna use this here at the bottom. Okay, we're gonna be gluing that on there. And then, I loved that one page that I, that I showed you guys. I loved all the different coffee cups they had here and mugs. So what we're gonna do with that is Stampin' Up! actually designed what they call the coffee cup framelit dies. And this is what they look like. 
They have the lid, they have the big and small cup, the dome for a frappuccino, they even have for the whipped topping for that there, a corrugated little wrap, coffee beans, a little either a tag or a tea bag. Um, this can just be a regular wrap like I used earlier. So lots of great things here. What I'm actually gonna use is this piece right here. And I know that maybe Stampin' Up! has done this in the past, but it's new to me. But they actually created this for the designer series paper where you can cut out the little coffee cups. How sweet is that? So I actually already cut out one because there's two different ones um, on the paper. This is the first one there. So they actually have this one and I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this one out for you um, with the Big Shot. We're going to take this and you need the, the base, okay? You're gonna put on your little plate there and what you're gonna do is you're going to get this all lined up, put another plate over it, okay, carefully, and then you're gonna crank it through. You're gonna pull this out and there is the coffee cup. That was pretty easy, huh? So I have that one cut out cut this one out and also in that same paper they had some coffee mugs and I just actually fussy cut these just using some scissors and we're going to use these on our calendar as well so the last few things we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and glue these on I'm just going to use some Tombow here and I know some of you had asked if this bleeds through the paper onto the other side and no, it does not. This is thicker paper here, really thick paper. As you can see, you can't see any of that copy that I just did. And we're using browns today. You can't even see it at the top there. So anyway, we're gonna take our Tombow here and we're gonna get this glued on. We're gonna pull in some washi tape. This is part of the um, greens and yellows set. And I'm gonna be using this one here. So that's what that looks like. You know what, I don't like that one. I made it too short. Let's try this one again. One nice thing about washi is it is removable. You do have to be careful. You can't just rip it up sometimes. I felt pretty confident that I could do it then because I just put it down. Much better. Okay, I just think that adds to this whole layout because you have the dots down here and that kind of pulled in the dots from the washi tape there. Okay, and then the last thing we're gonna do is we're going to glue these in our boxes here, just like that. Okay, pull out that glue again. A little bit of Tombow on the back here. And glue it down. Well, there you have it, guys. What do you think? Can't wait to add this back into my planner. Happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend, and life happens, coffee helps. And I do know lots of my friends would absolutely agree with life happens and coffee helps. Well guys, um, I hope you enjoyed today's version of our planner decorating, and I will be back with you again next month to decorate September. And I think you're really going to like that one as well. Have a great evening, guys. And until next time, bye-bye. Thank you.